It's been eight months. Eight whole months since the United States of America and the Soviet Union turned the Cold War into a hot war. After the Second World War, people thought everything would be quiet again. But little did they know that their happiness would last very shortly, as the late 1950s would mark the end of humanity as we know it. The people who remained had to be smart. Here in this new world, there are no laws. The only rule here is, only the strongest individuals survive. I will if you come any closer. I I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Uh, you're the first living person that I've seen in quite some time. Yeah, and you're after the food I just found. I know what you're trying to do. No, no, no none of this is fake. I, I mean you no harm. That's what they all say. Yet they always do. Looks like uh, you lost a lot of blood. What happened? story. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Okay, buddy, it's time to wake up now. Hey, wake up. Wake up, buddy. <coughs> That's it. You got hurt pretty bad. Don't mention it. You never told me your name, uh, Stanley. That's mm. yours. Vincent. Vincent. Nice to meet you, Vincent. Thank you. You, uh, you can stay here for tonight, but tomorrow you'll be on your own again. That's okay. Can I repay you somehow? Well, I, uh, I suppose you can. How? You can answer a question for me. Which is? Do you know if there are any cities left where everything is just as normal? Well, I, I've been roaming around here for days, but I, I haven't seen anything, unfortunately. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't matter. We should get some rest. So, where are you heading now? It's none of your business. So you're just not going anywhere? It, like you're going to just stay out here with your tent until you eventually die? Perhaps, but what do you care? Well, um, you're the first person that I've seen in quite some time, so I thought we might just as well socialize a bit. I prefer to be alone, buddy. Okay, fine. I guess this is goodbye then. Sure, goodbye. And uh, it was nice to meet you. Uh, All the same to me. Without you, I would have probably died. Probably. Well, yes. good luck. Thank you again. Have a nice day. Wait. Yes? Where did you say you were going? To my uncle's fallout shelter. Uh, hey. Why don't you why don't you come along? As a, as a payback because you've, you've helped me. Would that be possible? Will he let us both in? Well, I I can't promise you that. He doesn't like strangers very much even before the bombing. So, um yeah, and we might be contaminated with radioactivity. Mm -hmm. So that's difficult. Well, sure, will you help me clean up the tent? Let's of go. course I will.
let's go. Yes. So what changed your mind? Well, at first I wasn't sure about you, but um, after you decided not to run off with my stuff, I figured you'd be okay. Run off with your stuff? I would, I would never run off. Please, spare me the excuses. I was awake the entire time. Oh, well, so you were just going to let me run off and test me? Oh, no, 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 no. I had my gun ready. If you'd walked a few meters, meters further, you'd be dead. Look, I've lived without purpose for too long now. For too long, my life has just been about survival. I need purpose, okay? I need to get you to your uncle's shelter. That is very kind of you. Thank you. <coughs> so, what were you before, you know, before the apocalypse happened? Well, my full name is Vincent Tom Baker. I was born in 38. I had a very successful barber shop in Amsterdam. Business was good. I had money to burn. I had a nice place, a nice car. I really enjoyed life. Mm. But as soon as we heard about the tensions between the Soviets and uh, the USA, well, uh, just had this terrible feeling something bad was gonna happen. And well, it didn't take long before the sirens went off. I lost everything that day. My parents, my brother, my barber shop. I lost everything that day. I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you still think about them a lot? Every day. Mm. What about you? Well, my full name is Stanley Charles Schofield. I was born in a hospital in St. Louis on May 15th, 1936. Makes me 23 years old now. I, uh, I moved to New York um, in 1954. And I was a photographer. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. And um, <coughs> my photos got published monthly uh, in the Na uh, New York Nature Archive magazine ever since that year. So I was definitely proud of that. And, well, I had to leave all my equipment behind in order to survive. So, mm. Well, that's a very cool job, Stanley. You know, we're, we're lucky to be alive. It's just that we're unlucky to be alive in this time period. This, this world, it's, it's terrible living, but it's beautiful to capture on film or photo. Yes, you're right. Well, let's back up. So, what's uh, what's your favorite movie? I would say Singing in the Rain. What's yours? I don't know, I guess. Uh, anything with Marilyn Monroe in it. <laughs> you horny bastard. <laughs> <laughs> You're coughing a lot, are you alright? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh. It's the radiation poisoning. Well, how long have you been out here? Well, longer than you, apparently. I see. W wait. How long have you been out here? Two days. Two days. Look, my dear old father always used to say, never trust a survivor until you know what they did to survive. Well, your father was a wise man then. If you've been out here for two days, and we met yesterday, you had only been alone since the day before. What happened before the day we met, Stanley? I used to live in another fallout shelter. I've been there for the last eight months, ever since the first bomb was dropped. Continue. I was there with four other people, but the fallout shelter was originally made to hold four, so we had one person too many. So you were just kicked out after eight months? We had a food supply for two years, but with one extra person in the room, the food supply would run out way earlier, and they didn't want that. So um, we had an argument, which eventually became a death threat. Exciting. 
I stole a part of the food supply, put it in my bag, and uh, I tried to escape silently at night. Uh, and then one of them ran after me and stabbed me. Which is how I got the wound. So yeah, I pretended to be dead at first, but then I ran off as quickly as I could. And that's when I met you. Well, that's quite a story. I thought we trusted each other, Vincent. You tried to steal my food, Stanley. So all the conversations we had today meant nothing to you? You should go. Fuck off. You're an asshole. Mom? Vincent! Mom? 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 Is, is that you? Why didn't you help us, Vincent? Mom? Mom, where are you? She's right here, son. Dad? She's right here with us. You were always a disappointment. No. A shame to the family. No, Mom. Don't say that. Vincent! Dad! You were always a disappointment. No, I didn't. Shame to the family. No, don't say that. You were always, always a disappointment. A no. shame to the family. <laughs> now there's a face not even a mother could love. You just left me to die, just like the rest of your family. No! Stanley, uh, I, uh, I would like to apologize. <sighs> no. You've had your chance and you blew it. Isn't there any way I can make it up to you, buddy? Please. Not a chance. Not a fucking chance. I saved your life two days ago, remember? Yes. Yes, I do remember, and I'm very thankful for that. But I thought we trusted each other, Vincent. Deep. I wanted to take you to my uncle's fallout shelter. You proved to me that you were not worth it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but last night I realized something. Oh, please. What? This is my last can of food. <laughs> so you'll starve very soon. <laughs> I want you to have it. You're my friend, Stanley. Well, I mean, no one's ever called me their friend in a very long time. I trust you. I trust you too. Let's go. Yes. <coughs> hey, hey. Are you okay? <coughs> Vincent! Are you okay? I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I, uh, I think so. 
Jesus Christ. Watch out, hold on, hold on. Here we go, here we go. Do you need to take a break? It's okay, we can take a little break. If you need to rest. Stanley. We should go, I'm serious. No, no, you're going to be okay. Come on, stand up, it's fine. Stanley, Stanley, stop, I'm serious. Stanley, look. <coughs> if we continue at this pace, it'll take us another three days to get there. I'm fine with that. Stan, you don't get it. We have no food left. That's okay, we can We're just We're out of water too, Stanley, now. Go. You're gonna go to your uncle's fallout shelter. Don't feel bad. You're gonna live. Go. If you take me with you, it's, it's practically suicide. Go. Go, Stanley. It's okay. Goodbye. Stanley! Can you do me one more favor? I kept a journal. Please check it out. I will. Goodbye. Charles Schofield, and this is probably one of the last things that I will ever write. I want to tell you a story. A story about two survivors. Vincent. 